All right, what do you say we have a look at this sideshow toy, the Universal Monsters, the Mummy, as portrayed by Boris Karloff. This uh, figure is from 2000, I believe. This is the Silver Screen Edition. So what you're gonna, what essentially that means is it's actually painted in a black and white scheme. This also came in a colored version in 2000 as part of the third series so there's your wave lineup oh by the way let's see date yeah 2000 so let's get him out of the pack and have a better look all right we're all out of the package and there we are let's have a look at his accessories we'll do it in this order as it was um featured in the film you start off when they were actually reading this tablet basically that is the curse that was put on him Otep when he was buried alive and incidentally reading this curse back after it was unearthed would actually bring this guy back to life so also a part of that was this, sorry, I guess I did this wrong. This scroll led them to this curse here to read. This scroll in the movie was actually in this very decorative sarcophagus, just like that. So, let's have a look at this box. Nice sculpt, good paintwork. Looks like stone. By the way, the lid fits very nice. Let's have a, another look at this scroll. It is made of paper. It's not plastic. And um, I don't read hieroglyphs, so I couldn't tell you if those were reproduction hieroglyphs or not. But really cool presentation on that. And uh, let's prop him Otep off his base. Let's have a look. Very nice paintwork too, as as a demonstration plaque. More ruins. Very cool. And again, nice paintwork. I'm convinced that that is old Egyptian cotton. You see a scarab ring right here. Very cool. The likeness to Boris Karloff is, well, it's uncanny to be certain. Very, very, very cool sculpt. Again, this thing sat around, well, almost 20 years. Look at his eyes. Very cool. Let's have a look at his articulation. So you're going to get rotation to the side, and uh, that is it. No back and forth, just side to side. Uh, Mommy didn't move that much anyway. You get, uh, he's wiping his eyes because he's crying. Uh, don't cry, Imhotep. Don't cry. Oxenomen will be back. And so you have um, a joint at the elbow, single, and... Uh, Rotation at the wrist. And again on that side. That side as well. And a rotation at the wrist once again. Uh, rotation at the mid-torso, but it looks unnatural. So your best bet is to leave it like that. And judging by these joints here, that... It's going to look unnatural too. And like if he's driving a go kart. So, ah, the mommy go kart. You get a single joint at the knee. And uh, no rotation whatsoever at the ankle. But very, very cool figure. I think I like him tucking this in like he did in the movie. 
That uh, scarab ring is painted very well. I'm convinced that it's metal. It's good paint work. Let's get him seated back. And what's nice is it's very difficult to peg him in. Which means once you get him on there, it won't fall off that display so easily. And uh, let's put some of this stuff away. Because uh, we know what's in there. Just a little display there. Very cool. Maybe we can actually extend him out like he's going to grab that guy and strangle him. Throttle him. Very, very, very nice piece. Yeah. Enjoy these creature features. So, yeah. Howlin' Wolf out.